Hey, in this video, we are going to be comparing Vendu versus Optiva to see which one is the best eBay listing software. Now we're going to be comparing them in five categories and that will be onboarding, user interface, listing functionality, support, and price. But first, let me invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we upload videos every Friday and they're all related to scaling your reselling business, vendor product tips, and community update. So in this video, I actually went ahead and did a 30-day free trial with Octavia. So that way I could give you a full user review. So let's get started. So, all right, so the very first category that we are going to compare is onboarding. So let me go ahead and my screen as you can see my free trial is almost coming up so when you onboard you have the option to obviously connect your ebay account your amazon account and your facebook marketplace account also you have the option to opt in for more commerce which i will explain later on in this video but once you link your ebay account to octuva i think it took about five to ten minutes for me to receive an email from octuva telling me that all of my all of my ebay listings has been imported to my octuva account versus with vendu when you onboard with them it is not automatic so let me just go ahead and show you what i mean by that so here's my vendu. So for you to import your existing items or your existing listings from eBay, you would have to collect this. And then, yeah, you you have to wait for it to populate. And I don't think it even gives you a manual way to bulk um, import your items. So you have to click on it individually and then you click import. So you have to manually click every little box on the items that you want to import from eBay to your Vendu account. And that's very tedious. So in this category for onboarding, Optiva wins. So the next category that we are going to compare them with is the user interface, or I also call it the user experience. So this is Optiva's Optiva's. Uh, homepage. It's very similar to Vendu, which is this. So yeah, it's, you know, it, it, it is what it is. It's, it's straightforward, you know, nothing fancy. One thing I've noticed about Octuva is that it is low and sometimes it's glitchy. So let's just say that I want to only show items that are listed on eBay, which in this case, which is pretty much all of it, but let's see. So let me go ahead and click eBay. And yeah, it's just I find myself waiting a lot in Octuba versus on Vendu. If you were to do the same thing or you just want to be items that are listed on eBay only, you know, I just click here and click that and that's it. Boom. Here it is. Like you see how fast that is. So in this category, when it comes to user interface, Vendu wins this one. All right, the next category that we are going to be comparing them in is the listing functionality. So I'm going to go ahead and create a listing on Octavia and also in Vendu. So that way you can see, you know, how things work. So let me go ahead and add a new product. Now I am recording reseller, so I don't deal with UPC. So I am in I list things manually. So let me just copy one of my listing stuff. All right. So as you list here, you figure there's like a button right here that says click next or something or like very similar to eBay where it's just like a whole page, upload your photos and then you input the, the information. No, there, there's nothing here. So both instead it's here on the side, which again, maybe it's just me, but it doesn't make sense. It's not user friendly. So, okay. I already did the product details, inventory details. So next thing I need to do is go to images. Okay. So let me go ahead and. I can upload the image. Where is it? 
So I'm not gonna upload all of the images because they said this is just an example. Drag that. Guys, I literally just dragged one photo. And again, it took that long. Anyway, so like again, you, you figure there's something in here that says click next, but no, you have to go here to the left side. Now you're going into the description. So product description. Okay. Now, one thing about Octavia is that they have this listing template design, but here's the thing though. It, yeah, it's nice, but does it help you with selling the item even more? Probably not. I think eBay mentioned like a while back they, that they've noticed that um, buyers prefer to just have a short description, not these fancy stuff. So this just, this template just screams 1990s. And if you have this, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to offend you. All right, so again, you figured there's something here, but no, you go to shipping eBay shipping details. So you put in this information here. I already did that. Um, more commerce. I just did the standard payments and returns. Um, you know, again, immediate payment. Okay. Uh, return free ship. You figure there's like something in here that it will auto default here. If you want to do a promoted listing, uh, we're not going to do that. You have to click here for you to list it on eBay. It's not very intuitive when it comes to listing things. So now let's list on Vendu, right? So to list on Vendu, click new item and you upload the photo. Okay. You see how fast that is when I uploaded a photo? I'm just saying, okay. Um, all right. Okay. Then you just go on eBay. Then, so that was step number one, which is the vendor form. Step number two, marketplace forms. Everything looks good. You just have to specify a few things. Um, blouse, woman. And see, it already auto um, did the default for my shipping policy. For my shipping policy, payment policy, return policy. And I just put in $50. They even did the auto uh, default, which is allow best offer. And I click less on eBay and that that's it. It's literally two steps versus in Octavia. It is one, two, three, four, seven. If you want to seven, if you want to include the eBay toggle and then you click submit. So seven steps versus two steps in this category, then do it. All right, the next category that we will be comparing them in is support, or if you want to call it customer service. In October, um, let me go ahead and click support. In October, there's only one way. Well, let me rephrase this. There's two ways to reach October. So, of course, in here, they have the support button and, you know, you put in whatever issues that you have, you click send. This is like an email base. It's not like a live chat. You just have to wait for someone to reply to your email. But if you want to say you want to do a live chat and phone support, these are their hours. So Monday to Friday, nine to six, which is very typical. And they also have phone support, which is pretty nice. You know, you get two phone support up to 30 minutes per month. But the only thing about this is that the live chat option and the phone support is that it's only available for the pro and the enterprise plan. All right. Versus in vendor, when you do have an issue, you can reach customer service on the desktop or on the mobile app. So you would have this pink icon right here. It will have like an option right here to send them a message. But at the time of this video recording, the customer service team are out until Monday. So let me just show you how it looks like normally um, when they're out. Yeah, so here you go. So this is how it typically looks like where it says send us a message. And that's it. Yeah, so, you know, live customer service chat is seven days a week and they're very fast to respond. For you to reach Vendu customer service, it doesn't matter what tier you're on. You could have to have a free plan or an enterprise plan. They will still treat you the same. Versus in October, 
you can get a live person on the phone or chat if you paid this amount. So let's just say that you don't want to talk to anybody. You don't want to do chat or anything like that. You just want to learn in your way. Either you want to read or you want to watch YouTube videos. So we're going to compare Octavia and Vendu's like resources. So for Octavia, if you go down here, let's do education. Wow. Looks like I am um, in the 1990s. Wow, this hasn't been updated in a minute. Their education portal has been the last post was in December 2016. Okay. They clearly, Octavia doesn't care, doesn't care about your education. Uh, okay, 2016. Okay, let's look at Mendu. Okay, so resources, they have their blog. Oh, look. November 2023. Plenty of resources, updated resources. Of course, you're watching this, so clearly Vendu has video resources as well. So another new thing that Vendu released is their YouTube membership. So let me show you what it is. So if you go to their main page on the YouTube channel and click join, you have two options. You could be a super fan or you can be a Vendu VIP. So for the super fan, you get these cute loyalty badges and, and custom emojis. And on top of that, you get 10 additional items on your birthday. And on top of that, you get early access to this type of video 48 hours before it gets released on Friday. Now, if you are a Vendu VIP member, which is $5 per month, the, not only you get the super fan perk, you get early access to Vendu features and exclusive Slack community, member shout outs, and you get 20 additional listings on your birthday. So in this category for support, Vendu with. All right, the next category that we are going to be comparing them in is the price. All right, so this is Octavia's plan, which starts from $25 per month to $200 per month. The um, only thing that's very confusing about Octavia is that if you look here, it says unlimited listing, but then on the standard, it says 1000 SVU. So what exactly does that mean? I can't find the exact difference between a listing in an SQU. Isn't every listing have an SQU? So does that mean that I can list as many as I can, as long as it's within the two gigabytes of image hosting? Like I, that didn't make any sense. And unfortunately, they don't explain anything in here at all of what that means. So this is Vendu's pricing starting at $9 per month, all the way to the 150 per month, which is 4,000 items. They do have a free plan, which is right here. Every month you get five items. The cool part about Vendu is that on any plan, as they said right here, they only charge you for the new items you added each month. So what that means is, let's just say, for example, you started with Vendu, you have 100 listings, right? So for the 100 listings, you would go with the simple plan, which is $20 a month. So you could import all of your 100 inventory or 100 listings to Vendu. And let's just say the following month, you, you took a break, you didn't go thrifting or anything like that. You can essentially downgrade to either the starter plan or the free plan because you don't get charged for the active listings that you already have on Vendu. You get charged for how many listings, new listings you get in Vendu. Of course, once you start to ramp up, then you can you know upgrade to how many listing items that you need so i think that is pretty generous for vendu to have versus in octavia it doesn't matter if you have a slow month or a bad month really you're still paying whatever their standard monthly fee is i know the beginning of the video i've mentioned more e-commerce or more commerce so let me explain to you what that is so if you have the professional in the enterprise plan for Octavia, you have the option to list your items in these 11 uh, marketplaces like Walmart and Sears, but it is powered through more commerce. There is a 15% commission fee and also you get paid on the 15th or the last day of every month. All right, so we're going to also explore Octavia's 
search engine optimizer. So let's go to my, so let's go ahead and explore search engine optimizer. This is no suggestions found. Weird. Okay. For more like items and page update, maybe. Wow. I guess it doesn't work. Mm. Okay. All right. So my conclusion for the pricing category for Atovia is it's honestly not worth it. For $25 a month, you don't even really know what unlimited listing is. Um, you only get to list on eBay versus on a Vendu. You can choose which marketplace you want to list on. Um, you don't have to list on all 10, but if you do want to list in all 10, you could buy the, the, the bundle, which is a $12 per month additional versus in Octavia, the option you have is $25 just for eBay. Or if you want more marketplaces that you don't control, first of all, you have to pay a hundred dollars per month. In the pricing category, I had to give this to Vendu. We compared Vendu versus Octavia on choosing the best eBay listing software. And we've compared them on the five categories, which is onboarding, user interface, listing functionality, support, and price. Ovia won one out of the five categories, which is onboarding, and Vendu won four out of the five categories, which is the user interface, listing functionality, support, and price. Let me show you Atelier's listing template and how it looks like on eBay. So this is how it looks like on the website. Later. I mean, it looks cool. I mean, I get it, but it's just, it's just not that intuitive. And it doesn't even show up on the mobile. Um, the This right here looks nice, but if you click on it, it doesn't take you to the actual item. It just takes you to your store, which is, which doesn't make sense, you know? Let me know in the comments if you think this template looks cool or not. And there you have it. Once again, thank you for watching this edition of Seller's Corner. You have a great day. Bye.